Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and guys today I'm gonna show you uh, an image uh, or a banner rotator in uh, order of uh, senses it's complete um, I'll tell you why I'm saying so uh, it's complete because it's button control it's thumb control and it's automatic as well let me show you what I mean when I say um, quite a complete uh, rotator let me hit control enter to export the SWF or test the movie guys as you can actually see that it uh, goes from the first to the second second to the third and then uh, to the fourth picture since i've used only four pictures it goes back to the very first picture uh, guys see out here at the bottom right hand side i have four uh, thumbs that control the way um, i can actually uh, you know control the way the, the slideshow actually uh, advances also there are buttons two buttons out here one on the left hand side one on the right hand side uh, these two buttons are responsible as well for uh, controlling the way the slideshow will advance let me show you what I mean that's the first picture this is the second one this is the third one this is the fourth one third second first second third fourth right so basically the um, thumbs are firing properly let's check the buttons out that's the first picture goes back to the fourth the third the second the first the second the third the fourth the first the second the third the fourth beautiful all right so guys uh, as you can actually see it has uh, all the three functionalities it auto advances it's controlled via the thumbs and it's controlled via the buttons as well okay so guys what I'm gonna do is in part one of this tutorial since it's a lengthy one I'm gonna show you <coughs> how to construct the stage uh, by which I mean how to get the pictures in uh, how to get the thumbs in and how to get the buttons in and how to actually make the tween automatic as far as uh, controlling the thumbs uh, controlling the slideshow or the rotator with the thumbs and the buttons is concerned and the action script is concerned that is something I'll leave for part two okay so guys uh, in the interim in the meanwhile let me first show you the actions panel we have around 65 lines of script guys okay in the interim guys what you can do is um, if you really want uh, without waiting for part number two of this uh, tutorial you can go to my website http colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net forward slash downloads and get the file and replace my pictures with your own and enjoy use it to the first okay so guys as I said uh, in part number one I'm just gonna show you the construction part as well as the part which involves uh, the automatic scrolling of the images tweening of the images from left to the right okay uh, the the button control and the thumb control will come in part number two with the explanation of the actual script right so let me start let's say let's save this one file new okay uh, I'm happy to keep the width 550 height for uh, 100 um, in pixels frame rate at 24 background color white that's fine that's all the default let's say okay all right let me get the four pictures in okay before that let me rename layer one to pix or picture underscore scroller or picture strip okay strip right <coughs> so file uh, import import the library okay let me press the control keys and get these four pictures in let's say open guys you can see all the four pictures are now inside the library okay and now what I'm gonna do is let me get these pictures onto the stage let me drag it out so that's the first picture it's exactly the size of the stage guys so let me open up this uh, alliance panel align it to the left and to the top cool let me get the second picture place it uh, exactly to its right adjacent to it okay I'll open up the properties panel make sure that the X is 550 but the Y is 0 in doing so guys it aligns itself uh, to the right of the first picture let me get the third picture out that's the third one okay this time the X will be 1100 but uh, Y will be 0 alright and that's aligned itself to the right of the second image exactly tucked itself 
uh, rubbing shoulders so let me get the fourth picture out that's picture three okay now this time x becomes uh, 11 50 sorry that's uh, 16 50 5 15 to 3 and y becomes 0 all right so guys as you can see I've actually managed to create a picture strip in which uh, four pictures have been used all the pictures are 550 by 400 which match the size of the stage let me just zoom out a bit to show you what I mean all right here at 50 percent zoom you, you guys you can see that I'm using four pictures that have been placed left right adjacent to each other they're rubbing shoulders exactly with each other okay they're not overlapping each other at all um, if you see then guys what I'm gonna do is the total size is 550 by 4 you see every picture is 550 uh, pixels in width I'm gonna select all the four pictures together and then I'm gonna say modify convert to symbol keeping the registration point top left guys I'm gonna say okay all right I'm gonna give it an instance name of MC right okay so let me hit control enter to see what exactly have I done all I've done is I've just made a picture strip where I've used four pictures and each picture is 550 by 400 so the total length of the movie clip that was formed by clubbing all the four pictures together is uh, 2200 pixels wide 400 pixels tall right now guys I'm gonna use the 50 15 formula 15 50 15 formula 5015 let me first save it up and um, let me uh, call it uh, tutorial 1 right tutorial 1 because uh, it will have uh, yet another part part two all right so tutorial one is fine right next guys I said I, I'll be using the 50 15 formula now what is this formula we'll soon see so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on the 50th frame I'm gonna say insert keyframe okay and that's it after which guys I'm gonna add 15 to 50 which makes it 65 I'm gonna right click on the 65th frame I'm gonna say insert keyframe right and uh, I'm gonna right click uh, between uh, in fact I'll right click uh, later on before that guys let me click on the movie clip called MC I'm gonna go to the X property or uh, along the X axis I'm gonna change the X from 0 to a minus 550 when I do that guys the picture strip actually moves 550 pixels to the left which means that on the stage the first picture has left the stage but the second picture has come on the stage let's say control Z right now guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click be between the 50th and the 65th frame I'm gonna say insert uh, sorry create classic tween okay let's hit control enter to see what have I done so far okay cool not only that guys uh, I'm also I'm gonna make sure when I left click between the 50th and the 65th frame I'm gonna go out here I'm gonna increase the ease to 100 out okay I'm just gonna drag it and I'm gonna make it 100 out let me hit control enter to see what exactly have I done so far first picture and that is tuning into the second picture cool <coughs> now again I'm gonna add 50 to 15 so 65 plus 50 makes it 115 okay so I'm gonna right click on the 115th frame I'm gonna say insert keyframe and I'm gonna do nothing okay now you guys you must have guessed it I'm gonna right click on the in fact I'm gonna gonna pause the videos the dogs outside have gone um, crazy I'll be back when these dogs actually stop barking madly in fact they have uh, stopped so let me continue so right click I'm gonna say insert keyframe okay and uh, then guys every time I create a span of 15 pixels I'm gonna create a tween so I'm gonna click on the picture and this time the X I'm gonna increase to minus 1100 okay when I do that guys 
you can see that the second picture has actually left the stage the third picture has come into the picture let me say control Z right and then I'm gonna uh, right click anywhere between 115th and the 130th frame and I'm gonna say insert classic tween and I'm also gonna make sure that the ease has been set to 100 out sorry that pop-up just uh, came in the the ob obliterated the view anyway I'm gonna hit control enter to show you what exactly have I made so far first picture twinning into the second picture uh, tweeting into the third picture back to the first picture right cool now uh, again I'm gonna add 50 to 15 so 130 plus 50 makes it 180 right I'm gonna right click on the 180th frame I'm gonna say insert keyframe I'm gonna do nothing but then I'm gonna add 15 to 180 that makes it 195 I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say insert keyframe and every time I add 15 frames I'm gonna tween so I'm gonna uh, click on this uh, picture strip that I've called MC I'm gonna make sure that the X I'm, I'm gonna add minus 550 to this so that's minus 1650 right which means that uh, the third picture has left the stage the fourth is in the view is on the stage now so control Z to reset it okay and as I said every time I add 15 frames I'm gonna tween it so I'm gonna right click between the 180th and the 195th frame <coughs> sorry and I'm gonna say create classic tween pretty pretty cool okay after which guys I'm gonna add 50 frames um, 295 which is 245 245 I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say insert keyframe and I'm gonna do nothing okay on the 255th uh, frame I'm gonna um, I'm gonna add to uh, 15 to 245 now as has been the trend of the pattern which makes it 260 I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say insert keyframe since I've added the 15 frames uh, I need to tween it okay but I'm already at the last picture you see uh, at the last picture I don't have a fifth picture so what do I do now now I'm gonna reset it back to the very first picture which I can by resetting the X to zero okay so guys you can see that the first picture is on the stage now control Z right which also means that I need to tween this span of 15 uh, frames which I've been doing as a uh, as a pattern right so I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say create classic tween let's see the result here goes control enter to test that's the first picture tweens into the second one here comes the third one <coughs> that's the fourth one uh, and that's the first one so it goes back uh, to the first after the fourth this is one thing I missed uh, between 245 and 260 I need to make sure that the ease is 100 out okay between 180 and 195 I need to make sure the ease is 100 out okay between what's that between 115 and 130 it's already has already been set to 100 out this is also 100 out and right so actually I'm done um, let me save it up let me hit control enter to test okay that's the first one second one that's the third one uh, fourth that should go back to the very first one which it does promptly right okay um, now guys um, in fact I I need to bring in the buttons and the thumbs uh, which I am thinking I should keep for the second tutorial part number two okay I think I'll terminate the tutorial right here uh, but I'll let you know that in part number two I'll be adding a thumbs uh, layer I'll be adding another layer for the buttons and then I'll be adding the action script obviously so that I can uh, empower the buttons and the thumbs so guys I hope you like the tutorial so far and let me go back to the uh, actual effect which you will see after the tutorial the second part is also complete uh, is this by hitting control enter so going back to my previous file this is the second picture 
the third here comes the fourth and uh, it's button control guys fourth picture first picture second picture third picture fourth picture and it's thumb control first picture second picture third and here's the fourth picture so guys there's a lot more uh, in store for you it's a lovely script guys it's a lovely rotator it's a great slideshow um, and uh, as I said what you can do is you can go to http colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net forward slash downloads and get the flower file for free replace my pictures and my thumbs with your own my buttons with your own if you really want to otherwise you can retain the buttons layer and uh, uh, use the effect so guys i hope you like this tutorial learn something from it and i hope to see you in, in part number two don't miss out on that you have a good day guys bye bye peace